I have not seen a Fox player, like a Fox match in a while. They are not coming from North Jersey. I feel like if I said that like a couple years ago, it would be like hearsay. Yeah. I don't know where all the Foxes went. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, Dugan would be able to make Fox look like he's not stressful to play. That's all I'm Yo, saying. Dugan, Dugan's Fox is sick. All right, I don't want to, I don't want to get into it because I don't want to like spend the whole match talking about Dugan Fox. So we're just gonna leave it at his Fox is sick. Let's not alienate the audience here. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to back to this match. It seems yeah. like Faz's Fox is also doing a pretty sick job right now at playing the video game. Yeah, I mean, Fox is definitely not as easy as he used to uh, as he used to be. He doesn't rely so much on very heavy mixes anymore. Just down airing through the platform and hitting the top of Saber's neutral B, beating it out with Fox down air. I didn't even know Fox could. I didn't even know Fox could do that, but evidently that's the case. Just waited till the right part of that move, where the down air would be able to connect and DIing Saber's down throw perfectly as well, down in a way to make sure that Fast couldn't get any follow ups. Fox taking advantage of the lightweight nature that he is. My god, that's looking explosive at the beginning of this set. Yeah, and I think it's it, this has something to do with like what you mentioned earlier about Fox being the character that doesn't exactly have like a ton of true combos, but what he does do is he puts you in really bad positions and can convert off of that. And I think Incineroar is a character that when get when he gets put in those bad positions doesn't really have a lot to deal with it. Exactly, because he's like such a slow character with like some of the slowest movement in this game. So if there's any character that's going to have an even harder time getting out of those crazy mix-up situations that Fox creates off of pretty much every interaction he has where he beats you and he just touches you with any of his moves, he it's going to be Incineroar. Like he's going to have that much harder of a time since he's just a bigger target as well. And right now, just the buttons coming out from Thass right here. This is a Fox player, ladies and gentlemen. You can just tell, pressing all sorts of buttons in the face of Saber right now, utilizing the immense movement of this character all up in his grill. Like yeah, like my friend AJ uh, Air Gordon said, no true combos, but it doesn't matter when the character is just so fast that he'll just be able to catch you and ca catch you and just beat you to the punch pretty much every time. Beautiful down smash to take out Saber's second stock, looking clean going forward. Only 40% on Thass. On his second stock, I should say. So I wonder if we're gonna see. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh God! Oh God! What is his damage? No. Okay. Oh, he ran, he ran, if he, he ran converted out of that down there into an up smash to kill, I would have lost it. I was gonna say I don't think it would have killed, but he definitely ran out of platform right there to be able to land it. It would have barely not killed, I think, because it's Incineroar. But now an up smash will definitely do it. And there oh, is. Wow! Look. Speak of the devil. Here is the up smash you ordered. Please sign here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Yeah, thanks. I've been waiting for this up smash. <laughs> Wait, where's my drink? Your, your what? My drink? I died. Did order a drink? Help. Don't tell me you forgot my drink. <laughs> you, did. you did order it. <laughs> How am I supposed to body this Incineroar without my drink? <laughs> Don't worry. This one's on the house. <laughs> you think that guy was just waiting for his like online bracket to start and he just needed his diet Dr. Kelp for the little extra caffeine boost? Maybe. No, that would be the... Oh, wait. I was going to be like, wait, that's the chocolate guy. But or it, would, it should be the chocolate guy. Having sugar like that in a match can help you. They look but... relatively similar but i, I don't think, think there's the same character i'm pretty I don't think it's like events existed back then anyway but you're right i, I think i think you're right One, okay but we're, we're seeing a switch to ness no yeah, one thing yep. ness is really good at is just edge guarding fox it's just like pk thunder just ness's normals they're all really good at just intercepting either a fox's main recovery tool is being the the side b or the firefox yeah, definitely also, looking fast faller, Ness can do a lot of cool combos on Fox. That is very true. Yeah, it's like, I, I think this is definitely a pretty good counter pick right here. The Incineroar just never had the chance to play that, you know, sort of annoying, oppressive, like, I'm going to armor through everything you do game because Fox just sort of never let him play the game in the first place. Like, Fast just very much overwhelmed him, took advantage of the big body. Ness, I feel... Is gonna not even just in terms of comboing, but in edge guarding. I feel like Ness is also just gonna have such an easier time in the neutral. That angle. Like, that my angle. God, that was like a damn melee angle. 
What yeah, was that? it actually looked like it was something out of Melee. Like, one of the, like, what is it? 288 angles Fox has in that game? Oh my he just God. kind of ported them over to this game. He's at you 75. Know, one of those angles. He's at 75 already. That combo was absolutely nutty. My God, this this Fox, he seems to be an innovator. You're like watching that, a good oh. Fox is amazing. Yeah, it's Fox is just in his, in and of himself a spectator sport. Like, why do you think Melee is, like, you know, one of the top, like, spectator, you know, esports? Because Fox is just entertaining. Yeah, it's cool because he bodies people, but he also gets bodied. So, you know. Perfectly balanced. It's going to be a high octane match all around. So, I think the big difference for Ness in terms of Incineroar, also, uh, or no, another one, is going to be Ness's frame data is a bit faster than Incineroar. With, like, still really good disjoints to contest Fox. So up close, Ness is probably going to do a bit better than Incineroar would. And if Fox does one bad mistake at like a high percent and Ness gets to grab, that's like a, it's a kill. Oh no. Oh yeah, the tail hit. Yeah, I don't know if he felt like he needed to tech something or if he just wasn't prepared, but either way, it's going to spell a disaster for Thassa's second stock right now. So far, the Ness counterpick working wonders for Saber right here. Oh, I really oh, like the idea there. He was trying to cross up with the PSI magnet and then cancel it so he could probably land a grab and then another very meaty string against Fox, but he unfortunately misspaced it right there. And as a result, as a result, oh my god, as a result, he's not going to be able to get that punish and lose the stock for it. Oh my goodness, PK fire into the, into the up smash. Yeah, just waiting to catch his landing right there with the up smash. I really like where uh, Saber's head is at. Because even if he, uh, yeah, there's the down smash to do it. Even if Thass decided to go for the ledge, which you saw him do right there in that second situation. Uh, as we all know, the yo-yo hangs right below it. Sort of creating a no-fly zone for Fox in which he sort of has to very delicately just position a side B to be able to make it back. It was pretty much one of his only options to make it back to the stage and not get punished. As Spit Trap 19 thank you for the follow. We Woo! appreciate it. No Thank you, Spit Trap. And now, trapped in a Game 3 situation is Thass and Saber. Let's see what's going to happen going forward. Absolutely mm. wild stuff, man. A good fox is... It's a, it's a sight to behold. Yeah, I love watching it. It's great. Well, thankfully, you're going to get one more chance to watch it here. One more minimum, I should say here in this winner's quarterfinals set in top 16 here at Fusion.exe, the weekly number 51. Small Battlefield is the pick. Now, this is going to be a smaller pick. Definitely, uh, definitely a little bit smaller of a plane for uh, Fox to be able to deal with here, which is going to be really good for Thass in that run. I feel like if I feel like if Thass plays his cards right and like knows how to mix himself properly, like Saber is just going to have like way less space to be able to escape him on if you would i mean theoretically for a rushdown character like fox this stage should be like a miracle you know like just like yeah and i think base. one thing that was kind of missing from um Thass's game plan the last time was using the platform to extend combos because it was fd but now the platforms are back and that's it dead <laughs> yeah he down smashed him by the ledge without a jump and as a result he had to use his air dodge to cover the ground to make it back and at that point that ain't Lucas up there. Ness's up, he does not go as far, so Saber knew that he just didn't really have a chance at that front. But, is this the equalizer? No, beautiful shine stall in the air to mix up his timing on the way down so he could just land back on stage, gain the control, and then get a punish. Fast, looking good in this game three so far. What is the answer from Saber? Shoutouts to Paper Mario music. Oh Ooh. my goodness, the up smash covering the, the slightly up angle from Fox. That was really good. Yeah, dude, Saber definitely... Yeah, honestly. Saber definitely realized that, like, fast, like, mods his controller. He definitely knows that he has notches and is able to land these insane <laughs> angles in Smash Ultimate <laughs> of all games. So, he, yeah, I guess he was just prepared that time after that amazing angle that we saw from Thass in that, uh, in that third game. I am joking about the notches, by the way. I don't know Thassa's controller. This is the first time I've ever seen this player. Oh, he is missing his tech right there. No punish from Saber. Yeah, this is going to be a clean one. Easy. Yeah, game. that up smash is a bit... Like, that tool That tool is super good in, like, scrambling situations because you can catch them running running into the charging hitbox. But it just wasn't the play there. Like, it whiffed. You, you have a ton of lag. It's an easy up smash for Fox to get. Just run up and do it. 
Wow, what a mash out on the part of Thast right there. No follow-ups coming out for uh, coming out for Saber. Getting that grab off of the up tilt mix up as he as Fox is one to do. He doesn't have the same Smash Four mixes that he used to have, but he still can put you in really bad positions off of pretty much every interaction that he is the winner in or the victor in, I should say. It's looking pretty good for Thass in this game three so far. But oh, I love that bait. This game. That was so good. Yeah. What'd you like about that bait, Eric Gordon? Well, it's like he faked coming down with an aggressive option. That's took the bait and back aired, and then he just double jumped away and came down with a different option to. No, no, I think he landed in up tilted Ness's back air, like in landing or not landing lag, just like general air lag. If there's anything so, yeah. you should know, is that Fox will never stop trying to up tilt you. He's going to find a way to do it. Whether it's out of a tomahawk or out of a dash or whatever, you know, Fox is just... You got to know that that's just something he's looking for. Even at a disadvantage. Though we are on the final stock for both of these players. Right here. Oh, wow. Fast is back here in the west. He's got his jump, though. Able to air dodge and use the jump to make it back. Not a situation we saw in the first stock for Saber. Game ain't over until it says game, my friends. This is looking potentially doable for Saber here. Air dodging right directly into the no-fly zone is Saber right there for Thass. Only needs one more hit to bring this back. <gasps> wow. That was so good. Just reading the um, the shield drop that Ness would just kind of react to him landing in front of him and try to pick an option to hit him and just beat that out, stuffed it out with the, the down smash. I mean, you don't really see that too often. Just empty hop, land in front of you, and you down smash. Wild. And that's what Fox does, man. Tomahawks, empty hops, mix-ups, the character. You don't know how to mix them up, you're probably not playing the character right. He's so important off that. If you're more of a true combo kind of guy,